about the sprite. So um, the first thing that I did was I made a function like I was telling you. So I go into functions and then I click create a function. And what I did is I took a cupcake. I I'm not sure where you got your glasses and your character from. So I'm going to just show you how I put these together. So I clicked create a function and it looks like this when you open it up and I called mine cupcake with cloud frosting. And then over in sprites, I clicked make new sprite and I did make new cupcake and then I did make new cloud. Then in location, I grabbed location XY. Over on the screen, I was thinking to myself, all right, I want it to start over here and then like float in. So I moved the mouse around and I decided that I want the X location. I'll put this back how it was a minute ago for you so you can see what it looks like. The X location was at 388 and the Y was at 210. Location X, um, maybe, at, yeah, was 390 and Y was 235. I played around with this for a while to try to figure out what it looks like. So then I just tried it out. So I just said, okay, at one second, I want to run this function, cupcake with cloud frosting, and let's see what it looks like. So I'll show you. I press run and the cupcake is there. It looks like the cupcake has a cloud on top. That's what I want it to look like. So the next step is I need that to move. So I went into sprites and I grabbed a move block and I don't want the rabbit to move but I want all of my sprites to move so if I go into sprites and I scroll way down all sprites and I can put that in here instead and throw away the bunny so let's just say um, instead of at one second let's just say I grab a block that says while a pressed okay so let's just see i've got all the sprites above it are listed as all sprites and inside there it creates the cupcake and the cloud so then i'm going to move it 10 pixels i'll just say west so let me test it out run the cupcake hasn't appeared i press a there it is and then it keeps on doing a new copy of it, which is not what you want. So then I have another idea. So what I'm going to do is instead of having the location be this and the, lo and the location be this, every time I press A, I'm going to change this value. And in order to change that value, I need a variable. So I'm going to grab a variable and I'm going to, I'll just pop it in here and I'm going to rename that and I'm going to call it X value. Okay, so the 388 is gone. And so I don't lose track of what I'm doing. I'm going to close that and I'm going to set in variables at the very beginning of my game doesn't matter where I put it really. Set x value. To 388. Okay. Now I'm just gonna show you this one time. This like one um, one example. I'm not going to do everything yet. All right. So then I'm going to uh, want the character to move to the west 10 pixels. So I'm going to go back into variables and I'm going to change x value by negative 10. Okay. After a is pressed and then I'm going to move all of my sprites Ten pixels. West.
I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but one second it's going to appear, and then when A is pressed, the X value is going to change by negative 10. Let's see. Okay. So that's moving just the cupcake, not the cloud. So I can do the, the cloud the same way. So I'm going to go in here and make the cloud location also be x value. Got to copy it. Put that in there. Throw that away. Close that. Let's try it. Reset. Run. A, A, A. It did make one copy. A, 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 A. Because it's got this guy here. So I'm going to get rid of um, why do I have two copies? Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe if I get rid of this, let's see what happens. Reset. Run it. A, A, there we go. So I think that's how you do it. So you're going to have to say whatever button you want to move around, change the values by negative 10, which is moving it to the west. And then when you go in here, every time you press A, the value is 10 left. I don't think I need this guy. Let's see if I take that off what happens. Oh, I do need to move it. Otherwise, it copies it. Interesting. Reset. Run. Okay. So inside here, and so then if you wanted it to go up and down, you would use a Y value. You would change the Y value and do it the same way. And then you would make this north or south, whatever keys you're using. Okay. Hopefully that works for you and that you find that to be helpful.